So, um, in order to get my students to empathize with what it's like with, for people to not get their meaning through or not have the, the, the uh, to, to communicate with someone whose level of English is slightly different from theirs, um, I have a role play that deals with nonsense words. So, imagine if student A is a receptionist of a stationery um, shop and student B is a manager calling the receptionist to ask about their order of chickadees. Chickadee is my nonsense word. The student A B, the manager, doesn't really know um, how to say ink cartridges in English, and, and she or he thinks that ink cartridges is chickadee. So she calls asking for chickadee, and the receptionist has no idea what they're talking about, and, and leaving the two students to negotiate meaning and to talk things through to try and see where the misunderstanding might lie and how to sort out that misunderstanding so that um, uh, the, the, the word chickadee is then clarified. Um, it's, it's something that really happens a lot in real life, um, and, and in, in certain situations you just can't let the misunderstanding pass because um, without clarifying the word chickadee in this situation nothing is going to get done the communication is not going to be successful uh, and it's just trying to train people to to clarify meaning more ask more questions summarize what they're trying to say repeat things back to their partners and do all these things that are required of a good international communicator There's a basis of content that you need to do. It uh, makes some kind of uh, content that it lends itself to international communication. But actually, the most important thing is, is to have interactions outside. And what I do is use technology for that, Skype or other kinds of contacts through the internet or other places, so that people can have real uh, either synchronous or non-synchronous or asynchronous uh, kind of communication with people outside. Yeah, well, the first thing I think uh, that the students should do is to not be scared of social media <laughs> and go to social media and maybe the teachers should be knowledgeable enough to provide some help with them, like how they could use social media to help the process. Because it's the easiest way being in a country where English is a foreign language. And I know, I'm speaking from experience because <laughs> I was in this <laughs> situation being a Russian and teaching English to Russian uh, in Russia. So. And that was my advice to, to students. How can we use the internet and the tools that we have to, to find ways to communicate in English? And it's quite easy and there are so many different ways and uh, it's worth the time and it's fun.